Ferrari. Unloaded, baby. Hopper now. We got us a reload already. Peter built with big tanks, stressed out, would uh, have a hard time. Dude, if I was stretched out, I don't know, my tank would be a lot lower to the ground. That step would probably be on the ground. our reload started raining as we pulled off the road oh now we're gonna see if we have to uh, wait or if they are going to have everything ready Loaded, well, getting loaded. Told the guy this first load of this wheat mids, or excuse me, not wheat mids, but rice hulls, which is light stuff, with the new trailer, high side. I was like, oh, I don't think it needs to go over the bows. Like, oh no, I ain't gonna get you over the bows. Huge hump over the bows. Can't shake it down. So now I gotta get up there and uh, and shovel it. Let's go have fun. Got my boots on. I'm gonna go steal one of they shovels. So we got it shoveled down for the most part. Shovel some off, shovel some back. But he got all my weight up to the front. Got all that room back there. I'm going to hate this ride. Let's see what I look like. I ain't as, my face ain't as dust as I thought it was going to be. Not like me. But 
Let's go scale out. The fun times of the hopper. It is Friday. How's everybody? As you uh, saw my little, little short clips, we did some little jamming while we was night riding. But um, we're over here at our delivery. Posted up. Um. <clears throat> We've been scaled in. Got on a lot of, excuse me, got on a load of rice hulls, as you recall, when we got loaded. Well, they are full. They are full. So I can't unload. I don't know when I can unload. So here I sit. It's one of those things that, you know, you have to deal with in this line of work. I was cool with everybody. It sucks. My only thing is these feed meals, these feed meals are always out in the middle of nowhere. So I can't go and get me something to eat be nice oh okay just leave the truck walk down the road go put your feet up under the table and get you something to eat sit there and relax but is what it is we here ain't much I can do about it just wait on them to Give me some more information and start that detention time. Yep, yep, yep. We'll check back in a little later. A little tug getting it. Subscriber said, um, from Dirty Jobs, Mike Rowe. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Loaded. We are dusty, dirty, and I got it all in a truck. All on the truck. Gotta love this powdery stuff. But a good bit of it will blow off once we uh, hit the highway. <sighs> Let's go to Bojangles. Let's get us something to eat. I'm hungry. Clean your trail out once you get unloaded. Oh, you can see it good on the passenger side. See that dust? 
just back there. Um, last week when I got in, I got in late. My dad went by and got all my stuff from Cat. Well, my normal guy wasn't there. And I didn't get my harness. So, I didn't get the chance to put it on last week. Well, we got the, we got the harness now. A nice... 500 almost 600 dollars later we got it and we'll get it put on this weekend we got the rocker cover off boy i tell you it is so much easier to work on a non-acer engine I know uh, my old engine got the IVAs and all that stuff up there so you gotta take that you gotta take your Jake housing off to get the IVA housing off so you can get that rocker cover off now all that gets to stay up there and I got the rocker cover off and we are going to replace this harness. And number six is the one that keeps breaking. As you can see, I had cut into the harness to get more wire. I added wire. And it broke on me again coming through Atlanta. So I had to stop on the side of the road. About got hit, I don't know, 10, 12 times. But uh, you see, it's holding now. When I pulled the valve cover off last night, it just... I just touched that wire and poop it popped right out. But we're going back with new new. Got it right there. But it's not bad. Um I got all the torque space to torque everything back down. It's not bad. It's a lot easier now that you know I don't have to take no IVA housings off, take the Jake housings off to get that off, like I said earlier. It's just, you know take your normal stuff off and get that rocker cover off and you're there all right let's get this harness swapped new harness is on old harness this is one two three and four Yes, I'm still running the A cert stuff on a on this engine, but all of the other stuff is gone. I've just I mean the ECM works. I mean the wiring works, so I didn't swap none of that over. But anyways. We should be done with this issue right here. This freaking harness breaking. I was told that the um, corrosion gets up in there, and that's why the wires keep breaking. How does corrosion get in there with all the oil and everything? I don't know, but there's a lot of voltage going through it. So, it is what it is.
We're done with it now. On to the new. All right, we are back together. Now let's fire it up. It's super dusty from unloading today, so don't get on me about my dirty engine. again for a while hopefully no more issues but yeah appreciate y'all tuning in have a good evening and a great weekend uh, I'll put I'll put that pipe on tomorrow I may do something to it but yeah got that done I've uh, check the rest of the truck over and we'll clean it up for next week but that's really the only major maintenance that I had to do this weekend because last weekend I changed the oil and grazed it so just do a once over and we'll be ready for next week thank y'all for tuning in make sure y'all hit that thumbs up that like and don't forget to subscribe